Uh, so, ended up learning a little bit about, oh, that's the bottom. That hurt my ego a little bit. No! No! That's a snapper! He just bit off my tail! Back to my favorite body of water here to fish. This, uh, now full pond here has completely filled itself back up to full. And this is like a remnants of, I'm sure the stuff will like slowly die off now that it's getting subject to too much water here. But, you know, for, uh, I don't even know how many yards, hundreds of hundreds of yards, this has dried up. And now we finally got it back after a pretty droughty, you know, a couple months. And I've already uh, caught two fish in one day. This is my second day at it. So it should be pretty good. It should be pre-spawn, as of what I know. And just gonna be using a little bit of everything. And even some a little funny like this, this little dick spoon. What the heck? I don't think that was just a hitting the ground type of thing there. I could have been a bite. What? That was definitely a bite. Jeez. Oh, I was paying attention a little bit better. I might have had it. Same exact spot from like five minutes ago. Because he pulled harder than what I was uh, retrieving at. So it was just a, like one smack from a fish. There we go. There we, he hits again. What a day. I was about to hit another spot, somebody was fishing it, so I decided to go here instead. Oops. But there's always a chance of nice largies in this, this pond. I think it's a pond. First time I caught a largie out of here in ages, too. Feels good. <laughs> Maybe I should have given him a little bit more of a toss out. There we go, that's another one. Not crazy in size here, but that's all right. There was a huge drought, drop in the water. I used to be able to stand on a, uh, I can show a clip of it, standing on the island, fishing off of it all around, uh, like all different parts of the lake, pond, whatever. He's a, I mean, they all look so healthy in here, too. Unfortunately, sometimes they get, or a few too many of them get hit by the snapping turtles, but that's just nature, unfortunately. I'll do one last cast after this. A uh, little assessment here. I mean, I'm gonna guess you didn't get it caught up in all these because if you want to see how weak these branches are, they're just frailest flimsiest things uh but you don't really need to leave all this line here i don't think there's a hook anywhere in there i'll try and take it i didn't know i needed to be he-man to get this back i was talking all that shit about how weak it was person must have been pissed. Oh man, I'm calling it so bad today. They had to send in a chopper. It's all right, guys. You can uh, stand down. Okay, then. Interesting way to hit it.
Not sure how that wasn't a fish there as well. <laughs> I got two hits. I swear on that. Uh, that's why I cast it right in there. Got two hits on the uh, dick spoon, I'm pretty sure. And end up with like three casts, then catching this bad boy. Nice, healthy looking fish. I mean, he's like 12, 13, 14 inch, but I'll give him a good toss. There we go. Duh. That was a good one too. I don't think he was gonna be a be. I don't think he was gonna be above like 18 inches, but I think he was gonna be close. Uh, throwback. I'll I'll show at least a quick part of it. I I've only caught one or two fish on any uh, chatterbait before this, and it was huge. It was like a 20 incher. But yeah, it's in the bottom of. Hopefully, I didn't. And he's hooking me. Holy balls. Look at that bad boy. Oh, not again. Not again. Oh my gosh. That poor hungry fish thinks that this vibrating jig fish just keeps getting away but no i'm incompetent and i'm i mean that might just be unlucky i think the fish missed it twice honestly but i'm allowed to cry and throw a little temper tantrum for like 30 seconds and i won't get into what the rules and whatnot where it was nice but i ended up having one of my best days of fishing ever there man first in a while catching okay thanks catching the large mouth or i mean any bass on that I mean, they're so healthy in here. Not a speck of uh, scars on them from all the uh, snappers in here. Uh, so ended up learning a little bit about, oh, that's the bottom. That hurt my ego a little bit. No, no, that's a snapper. He just bit off my tail. What? That's what it should be about. Even, <laughs> even when I'm losing a whole bunch of soft plastics to snapping turtles, still get these fish to surprise you. One of the biggest, actually no, he's just long. He's actually not too full, not too filled out. Pretty crazy biting right now. And I mean, that's that's crazy catching like that many fish. Thinking like, oh, that's a good one. Oh, the, okay, he's not as big as I thought. I'm sorry. I thought he was a lot bigger. I mean, it's still fun. I don't, th I think one of the earlier ones went, geez, were, uh, I think one from the first day is the biggest so far. They just keep getting to the same size of like 14 ish, in, 12 to 14 inch. First, uh, first bite he gets on a walk catch. What a like crazy moment. How did you, how'd you even get this? What are you doing, bro? So, the funny thing is, I've fished here a long time. This might be the smallest I've caught out of here. Just, just destroys my average, uh, average size fish. 
caught out of here. That's a big old bummer. If you're gonna do any of the, maybe that and learn how they like remove. Wow, a fish right there. <laughs> Jesus. Yo, what the heck am I picking up right here? Is this the? These two animals right here. They're right behind the smaller bush. I was making a bunch of noise coming up to here, but or is that two snapping turtles? Is that what that is? to sit here and wait for them to do something to <laughs> okay I didn't oh that snapping turtles fighting world star world star that snapping turtles fighting holy shit they're huge what the? I mean, at least I think they're fighting. If they start doing something else, I might leave. But I think they're... Are you serious? Because there was another one doing something over there. Come on, get back to fighting. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go, you top dog. <laughs> <laughs> no way they both are upside down now okay i thought they were uh, uh that's weird he's oh they're mean what the heck it tapped into something but i don't know if that was a bite or not i don't think there's a fish is my drag too loose? Oh man, one of the smaller ones. Just, oh. <laughs> Lifting him right into the... Right into the thumb to hold. He's got really sharp teeth, that's for sure. But yeah, one of the smaller ones so far. What? That was a little bite. Jesus. That was the quickest double tap I've ever felt from a fish, I think. <laughs> that a giant hungry bluegill or something down there. Oh, this is pretty cool. There's some uh, tracks of deer here. Looks like they were smoking black and mild and uh, drinking smart water right there. Awesome. That's interesting. That's a, I think a couple bones right there, maybe three but this one right here the most noticeable one wonder what animal that's from oh wow <laughs> he ran off with that that was quick only like fourth cast since i got here And this time, just switch it over to a simple uh, swim bait here. Man, caught like five smallies bigger than this at uh, like a medium-sized creek just earlier. Feels weird to do that. Nice. Okay, not so nice. Um, call it a quick release. What's that? I might have been an immediate nibble. So, with how crazy they are, I might just throw in a whopper popper, I think. Jesus. That's a bite? Wow. First topwater bite in ages out of here. 
There we go. He's a pretty good one, I think. Okay, he's just skiing on in because he's double hooked, I think. I'm sorry, bud. Better you than a snapper. Wow. Jesus Christ. So, I mean, he's a little rambunctious. Uh, give some good, strong. Maybe I might as well get a couple of their lengths to show. This is, I'm gonna guess, a 15 incher, but his huge scar on him, on his back, too, of all places. Wow, I'm pretty far off. He's 13 inch. But here's. That's like a really wrapping around his body. That's weird. But I still think that's a snapping turtle scar. Yeah, goal's like a 17, 18 inch or I don't think 16, 15, 16 inches are crazy at all. Uh, They're crazy for top water. Are you kidding me? Oh, and he's. What is going on? He seemed so much heavier than this. Well, if it if they're just gonna start hammering top water baits like that, I'm just gonna keep throwing them. They're really aggressive towards it. Well, windy here. I don't need to lose this lure. Oh, that looked like a huge slash. That might have been the biggest fish yet, and of course I miss it. What? Finally another bite after a bunch of bunch of a lull. I'm gonna actually I think stop it here, even though I've got I wanna say oh, 15 to 17 minutes i think that's a better time than like 20 plus unfortunately didn't get that big bite didn't get the big catch but got to already have some fun here in uh a very early april it was mid 60s today and you know pretty sunny a little cloudy but uh all the days panned out uh really great when i came here and kind of a whole bunch of different stuff fun to uh, like my faves are um, obviously top water number one, but moving baits, uh, per, you know, preferably non bottom baits. That's a uh, fun couple days. Uh, thanks for watching.